Apollo landed on the moon with barely any testing. So why is Artemis taking so long? In the 1960s, Apollo operated under a very different mindset. Spaceflight was experimental, dangerous, and openly risky. Astronauts were test pilots, and failure was considered acceptable. The Saturn V rocket had flown only twice before humans rode it. One of those flights suffered major problems. Yet Apollo 8 still sent astronauts around the moon in 1968. Apollo moved fast because it had to. The Cold War created a deadline, and speed mattered more than caution. Artemis operates under completely different rules. There is no space race forcing rapid launches. Modern missions must meet strict safety standards and oversight. Artemis II is the key step in this process. It will send four astronauts around the moon without landing. The mission tests life support, navigation, and crew operations far from Earth. Astronauts will manually fly the Orion spacecraft in deep space. They will travel farther from Earth than any crew since Apollo. On return, Orion will hit Earth's atmosphere at extreme speed, testing its heat shield. There is no landing because Artemis II carries no lunar lander. It only tests the crew vehicle. NASA plans the first Artemis moon landing with Artemis III in the mid to late 2020s, once all systems are proven safe. 